When you're trying to find a company to do a specific job for you and it's not somebody that you've you've used before it's always difficult to know who to get there's a grave element of doubt you, you're into the unknown when you've got strangers as such coming into your house looking at it from a security point of view these days it can be very worrying older women who might be on their own etc i think they're very vulnerable to to traders not doing work to a good standard and treating people uh, in, a, in a proper way. If you have something like the Buy With Confidence scheme, it's at least a good starting point uh, and then you can take it from there. Somebody who's obviously been uh, accredited by the local trading standards and also you're getting feedback from previous customers, you can then make uh, an initial contact with that uh, confidence behind you. Before we were, we, we were doors by Buy With Confidence, most of our customers came to us through word of mouth, local knowledge. The business has been here over 40 years. Word of mouth is obviously the, the best form of advertising, but the Buy With Confidence scheme just takes, takes recommendation just one stage further. To achieve certification, the process was it was relatively straightforward in as much as insurances had to be in place and, and, and get those checked and, and really just rubber stamp what you should be doing. And the Bible Confidence team at the Trading Standards at South Lancashire Council were, were fantastic with assisting, giving you help, advice to guide you through the process. Part of the process to become endorsed by Bible Confidence was checking over our practices in relation to entering into a contract with customers. The Bible Confidence team were able to give us advice in that respect. Most of it was, was what we were already doing, but they were able to advise us on how to take that stage further. For example, send people a copy of their cancellation rights and what the, right, the rights would be with regards to short notice work being carried out. So that helped to tighten things up a bit and it protects the customer and, and protects us as well. An additional measure we did have to get was we, we got basic disclosure checks. It's normally for the people who are going to be going into customers' houses. We opted for all of us to have them. With hindsight, it's a really good thing to have because when you explain that to people a bit more in depth, it really does give them confidence about who's going to be coming to their house. Baxter's, I felt, um, did everything very well right from when uh, David came to do the initial survey uh, and get the information for the quote. I was very pleased to see them do the do the buy with confidence thing. I think they're, they're they're an excellent firm to be involved in that. If you have a scheme where there are strictures uh, which, which which determine what they have to do in terms of uh, feedback, how to how to resolve any disputes or anything like that, is obviously ideal. That's that's what you that's what you want. It's benefited our business in as much as when you explain to people just you know what the process is, what the scheme is. They're normally very, very impressed with it and it helps their faith in the work that we're going to carry out in their home. It's, it's definitely benefited our business um, in as much as you know the, the phone calls as well as that we're also now included in the South Lancashire Council's Trusted Traders list. There's additional inquiries with regards to that so it's been a really good thing for us.